Hi everyone, Kevin here. Today, I wanna show you how you can disable chat in a Microsoft Teams meeting. I'll show you how you can do it while a meeting is ongoing and also how you can configure that before the meeting even starts. Lastly, I'll also show you how you can set it so people can only chat when you yourself are in the meeting. All right, well, let's jump into Microsoft Teams to see how we can do this. Here I am in Microsoft Teams, and today I'm presenting on employee benefits at the Kevin Cookie Company. Here, if I click on chat, it looks like a few different chat messages have been coming through. It looks like a bunch of people have some questions and some feedback, but I want everyone to focus on the deck over here on the left. So I think I'm just gonna turn off the chat altogether. Now, by default, chat is enabled, and while I'm presenting, anyone can come in here to chat. If I want to change that, I'll go up to the top bar and click on the ellipsis. Right here, I see an option for meeting options. Let's click on this. This opens up meeting options now, and at the very bottom, there is now a new option, and it says allow meeting chat. And currently, it's enabled. This means that anyone can chat a message while I'm presenting. Now, once again, I want everyone to pay attention to all of the great things I have to say, and I want it to be more of a one-way communication. If I click on this drop-down list, I can disable the meeting chat. Next, let's click on save. I've now successfully disabled the meeting chat, and if I click back over on chat, here I see a message letting me know that chat has been turned off for this meeting, and no one should be able to send any more questions. Here, for example, I am now in Nestor's view, and he has his chat open. He can see my slides, but if he tries to type anything in, he sees this message down here telling him that the chat has been turned off for this meeting. Now, once I finish going through the whole presentation, it might make sense to turn chat back on. Now, just like I turned it off, I could go back to the same place to turn chat back on. Here I'll go up to the meeting controls on top and click on the ellipsis. Right here again, I'll go into meeting options and down below where it says allow meeting chat, I can click on this and I can re-enable the chat. Next, let's click on save. Now that I've turned meeting chat back on, here within Nestor's view, he sees a notification letting him know that chat is now re-enabled. And here Nestor could come down and he could send through a question. Now, along with being able to disable or enable the meeting chat while a meeting is going on, you can also set this up ahead of time. Here in my calendar, I see the meeting on employee benefits. I can click into the meeting details and here within meeting details up on the top, there's meeting options. Let's click on this. This brings us into the meeting options and here too, also at the very bottom, we see the option for allow meeting chat. By default, it's set to enable, meaning that anyone who joins in is able to chat. Now I could also set it to disabled. This way, when people join the meeting, chat will be turned off from the very start. Within this menu, there's also a third option and it's called in meeting only. What this means is participants are only able to chat if they're actually in the meeting. Let's try turning this on to see what type of impact it has. Here I'll select in meeting only and now I'll click on save. I'm now here within Patty's view and I'm looking Looking at the meeting details. Here if I go over and click on chat, because I set it so you can only chat within the meeting, here you'll see that chat is turned off. So Patty has to join the meeting before she's able to chat. Patty has now joined the meeting and you'll see that she's now able to chat over here because she's now in the meeting. Next, I wanna show you how you can set it up so people can only chat when you yourself are in the meeting. Back within my view, let's go right back up to meeting details and then click on meeting options. Back within meeting options, once again, I can confirm that my attendees can only chat when they're in the meeting. But like we just saw with Patty, she was able to join the meeting and then she could start chatting. Now, I wanna be in the meeting for anyone to chat. Up on top, there's the option that says who can bypass the lobby. With the lobby, people can't join the meeting until I let them in. So here, if I select only me, I have to let people into the meeting. And once I let them in, then they could start chatting. This effectively gives me complete control over the chat. People can only chat when I am present. I'm now in the meeting and no one else has joined yet. Here I can see that two people are waiting in the lobby. Since no one else has joined the meeting yet and you can only chat when you're in the meeting, no one's been able to contribute to the chat yet. 
Here, if I click over on participants here, I can see that both Nestor and Patty are waiting. So let me go ahead and admit everyone into this meeting. Now that both Nestor and Patty are in the meeting and I set it so they could only type while they're in the meeting. Here now, if I click on the chat, I can see that Nestor said, hey, thanks for letting me in. Once the meeting's over, if I no longer want people to be able to chat, let's say I'm leaving and I don't want a conversation to continue without me, right up on the top right hand corner where we have the leave button, I can click on this drop down and then I can click on end meeting. This will end the meeting for everyone. And once again, if I have it configured so there's a lobby and I have to let people in, this effectively means that no one can chat before or after the meeting and I have to be present for all conversations to occur. All right, if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. To see more videos like this in the future, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, if you wanna see me cover any other topics on this channel, leave a note down below. All right, well, that's all I had for you today. I hope you enjoyed, and as always, I hope to see you next time. Bye.